Hey guys, I just added a pretty cool feature to my Godot game. It's probably a feature that people add to their games pretty soon, but um, I've worked on a bunch of other stuff first, you know, like the procedural generation, uh, terraforming, you can build stuff uh, as well. It's like uh, an architecture sim. This, these are blueprints up here. And um, yeah, it's still a little bit buggy in places. Uh, I haven't got it quite down yet, but uh, let me start a new world. Uh, if you add a, a little man in there, he should, uh, you know, start working, build a house. I'm just going to speed up time so that he can uh, get a move on. He's going to chop down a tree, he's going to build a house for himself, now he's going to start working on the farm. I'm just going to add another guy just to help him. Oh yeah, you can also add uh, cows, and they will make little babies, and uh, these guys will eat the cows. But the thing that I added, the new feature that I added that most people probably add pretty soon, I'm just going to possess this guy while he's thinking about cows. Um, I'm just going to walk over here to this wall, this dirt wall. I'm going to show you the new feature, which is the bow and arrow, which uh, sticks into the wall. And that's the feature that I just added, and I just got it right now, and you can uh, kill yourself. I'll just add a new guy. Uh, you can kill people, too. Um, guy over here so I can do some hunting. Kill cows. The aiming is still uh, just intuitive. It's, there's no uh, parabola or anything like that. I need to add that in. Um, but yeah, there's still a lot more to the game. Uh, let me see if I can show you. I don't know what's working at the moment because when you, when you add stuff Things change. Uh, yeah, that's red because of the team colors. So they they're gonna keep cutting down trees and stuff. I'm gonna move all the trees up here. Oh, there's rocks. Oh, I want to show you something pretty cool actually. With the this guy should uh, use the ramp to go up. If he doesn't some errors down there anyway let me let me show you something else uh, so if you build a tower and you've got a guy that you possessed oh I possessed the wrong thing you can possess anything you can possess trees you have possessed a tree you can possess cows Possess the baby cow. I can control this cow now. Controls are very limited for cows. Um, oh, let me show you the thing. It's the. Okay, so the arrows don't stick into buildings, it seems, but they can destroy buildings. There you go. There's no sound effects. You have to make the sound effects with your mouth. Uh, let me rebuild this tower. The building system is pretty versatile, which was the main feature of that, you know, that got me working on the game in the first place. It's supposed to be like townscapers, you know, so you can uh, make various changes. You can make a balcony if you like. Oh, it's probably not an error. It's probably due to... Oh, no, that is an error. Wait, maybe... Ah. But these guys these guys are using the, the, the building, so he's trying to walk up. Oh, well, they're sleeping, I guess. This guy is stuck down here. And then these guys are also stuck. So that didn't work out as planned. It might have something to do with... Uh, the new building system that I added. I'm really rambling on here. But 
the other thing I wanted to show was the rocks, which is what the arrow is based on. Also destroy buildings if you throw them. So you can throw anything, you can throw people. Oh, he, he managed to survive. Uh, you can throw rocks. And the rocks are the only thing that will actually damage the buildings other than the arrows. The arrows aren't supposed to damage the buildings, they're just a prototype for other projectiles. The shaking is not going to be, it's not a feature, it's not going to be in the main game. Uh, let me see if I can get the architecture, because I've never seen that bug before, so seeing as we're doing an expose, let me see. So the, the kick, clicking multiple times is just because of uh, the new building system that I added where it shows like partially constructed buildings. should uh, prevent that from happening again. Uh, but it probably won't uh, fix the problem long term, but you know, just stop it from crashing. So what do I want to do? Oh yeah, I wanted to just show some of the building system. Let me add some guys just for atmosphere. The, the cows just reproduce as soon as you uh, um, add them, as soon as they get to each other. There's some debugging going on, that's why the cow's pink. I don't know why they're going up the building. I think they're trying to, they're trying to build something. And now they're flying. Okay, great. They, they try and build partially built buildings. So he was trying to go up the tower to build it. So uh, if you go down, oof, the, the building system is really buggy. I don't know why. It's because I've been working on other things been working on what have I been working on oh, I've been working on multiplayer which I uh, I decided to just stick to local multiplayer instead of uh, <laughs> instead of to trying to do online multiplayer which is very di very difficult you need like have a server or a cloud or something I don't know why they were walking up there it's, that needs to be fixed it should be going down there Right. Uh, you have to click three times to make a building. Because the first one makes a blueprint, and then the, the second one is a construction. I'm gonna stick a guy up here so you can see. Make the farm first, prioritize. And then he's going to, cool, he's going to use the building to go down. So this is the, the case that I worked on to get the pathfinding in the buildings working in the first place. I haven't worked on a case like this. The, the only other case that I actually worked on was um, this one. So let me see if I can get that built and speed up time. He's going to build the farm. And then you see he's going to walk up the building, he's going to build it. So 
So they, they're all sleeping in this building, which is pretty cool. It's just that they, they like to use the balcony instead of using the stairs. Um, yeah, but the reason I made, I wanted to make the, the video was because of um, the, the arrows, which is, there, there is a war system already, very basic war system. Ooh, took out the building. The arrows are very, very powerful. They're a little bit OP at the moment. I'm trying to see if I can hit a guy. <clears throat> okay, his uh, colliders stopped working on the buildings. Still a lot of work to be done, clearly. There's another thing which is info view, which I've also upgraded, so it just shows you the various uh, types of building, <clears throat> which are all built in the same way. It's all it's all just uh, buildings. They just adapt depending on what buildings are around them. You can see mine, shaft, tower, house. This should this should be labeled balcony. Okay, there because it wasn't built yet. There you go, balcony. Built that. This one wasn't built yet. Okay, that's probably why there was some weird shit going on here. It's lots of, the population's huge now because the reproduction is also overpowered. Um, everything's a little bit overpowered right now. There's no real point to mining yet. There's uh, no real point to anything. Um, so this this can also be used to get info on uh, the people so the naming I think only new people are named All right book out his ass instead of uh, info view gate one the guy's name is gate one this guy's name is Chi Chinyao Chinyao I tried to go a little bit diverse with the names this is a tree. This is a house floor. This is also a house floor. Okay, that's a house apparently. It's not it's a mine shop. Still need some work, clearly, but you know the the the, the bones are there. There's a little bit of a stutter there. The population is getting a little bit crazy. Um, these lines are just indicating the the pathfinding. Um, so there's two methods to their movement. They'll they'll pathfind along these curves, or they will just uh, use the basic kind of movement that the cows use, which is just it's actually physics based, which is probably expensive. So these they'll switch to physics based when they get uh, when they get to their destination. So there's still it'll still be very buggy. <coughs> Everything is very buggy. It's going to take a long time to get rid of all the bugs. Uh, these things are, seem to be permanent, and now it's really, really lagging. Um, yeah, there's also a save system, so I can save this. Uh, let me save this town. And there was a bug. Great. Uh, time left. What is this? Farm. Time left, invalid index, get index. Yes, no. I must grow time, no. So this this is not being called for some reason. Okay. Um, anyway, I'll have to end it there. The the save system used to work. I have been working on it a little bit recently, but uh, specifically on the farms, which weren't saving before. Let me just do a quick test just to show you. Uh, so, um, okay, no. The, the old saves are not gonna work. Oh, I forgot the, the loading system's different in the main menu. farm going here, see how long it takes to just get the farm going. So 
so you can see the, the building system in action. So the farms uh, grow, so I'm just gonna save quick as farms. Right, yeah. Uh, let's just delete everything and say load farms. Load. Okay. See, so that's that's the basic save system. It seems to not work when there's lots of shit going on, but you know, bugs galore. Uh, the game. Oh, let me show you the the last thing, which was the war system. So you can change the team, which also changed the color of the buildings. But that's uh, uh, still very buggy, like you saw. But it'll it'll also make him a difference. So like he's angry. So then now they'll go and fight each other. Uh, they ran past each other initially, because that's because of the the new pathfinding curving system. So. Look, they'll curve to each other's position, so that needs to be changed. Uh, yeah, but anyway, they they'll they'll fight each other. They'll try to kill each other when they see each other, because they're different teams. So there's a blue guy. He's, he doesn't look blue, but he is actually slightly bluer, I assume. It's a red guy, and they're gonna fight. So uh, the way that I'm. The style that I'm programming the game is I, as soon as one thing is working, I'm going to move on to the next thing. So now that this, uh, you know, system is working, I'm going to stop working on it, and now I'm just going to add this to the man so that he can also shoot at enemies. And uh, then whatever, when that's finished, I'm just going to move on to the next thing. Also, I want to make sure that it can actually kill animals. Okay, there you go. Um, he's thinking of a cow because that's he wants to kill the cow, but the cow's dead. So. There's a little bit of confusion with the controls as well. This animation I was quite proud of, just uh, the way that it is four directions that you can aim. Uh, anyway, I'm I'm dragging this on. What else? I just want to fit as much as I can in. So. Uh, there's more that you can build. Oof. That was very strange. Uh, there seems to be a problem with the um, the loading system now. Let's look into that. Huh? So the, the building, I've never seen that bug. That was a very big bug. That That's the type of bug that'll take a long time to fix. Um, it seems to have to do with the loading system though. I uh, just want to show some styles of building that you can make. I've shown this in other videos, but I just want to show it here just to... Oh, you can also make rain clouds, and the rain clouds will make the trees grow. You can also do um, like bridges like that, and you can also have uh, mine shafts that kind of pop out of the. So see how it's red here. If I change the color, okay. So that's that. That's what was causing the bug in the last thing. It's because um, when I changed the thing to have three different levels, three different degrees, I forgot to incorporate the teams. Okay, so it's not going to take that long to fix. Uh, yeah, so anyway, uh, you can make these weird, like, um, you know, um, mine shaft outposts. So I was trying to show you that the buildings would have changed from red to blue to green. Uh, something that I added, like, really, really quickly, and I never, like, debugged it at all. I just, just added it and forgot about it. I did that a lot, um, which is why it's so buggy. 
but I'm trying to go for scope first and then go for perfection later because um, there's that, I think it's Linus Torvald said that uh, premature optimization is the root of all evil, something like that. So you see the buildings have interiors and you can place these guys in the buildings mm -hmm. and uh, see how they outlined that just shows that they're actually inside the building. So that's actually a good demonstration of the pathfinding. They, they can't use this entrance. They can only use this entrance because I haven't um, incorporated Minecrafts into the, the Minecraft entrances into the pathfinding system. Um, so you can see the, the it, as you zoom in, it'll show the interior of the building and the exterior. So um, you can see inside, but that's also kind of buggy, as everything is. It's a reoccurring theme of this video. Things are buggy. Be interesting to see if they can use uh, that mine shaft. Although the the mine shaft seems to be the one thing that um, isn't really working when it comes to the pathfinding. Oh, no, there you go. He's going to use it. Uh, speed it up. Yeah, you can see. So the, the pathfinding algorithm is completely um, my concoction and it's not based on anything I've ever seen. It's just a recursive well, I suppose it's like probably the most basic pathfinding algorithm you can implement. It's like baby's first uh, pathfinding algorithm. Um, but I, I just made it up literally. I didn't do any research into it. It just sort of uses a square, just looks at every four direction, and then it just does that recursive end until it finds a dead end and then it reverses. Um, seems to work for these purposes everything's on a grid so I am gonna incorporate like slopes and mountains in the future yeah anyway I'm gonna end it there one more one more thing one more thing haha -ha, die can't wait to actually work on the destruction system so that it looks a bit more realistic. That's going to be fun. See, like, I wanted to do that. Aha! <laughs> the arrow bounced off and killed me. There you go. I love it when that happens. Okay, guys. Uh, have a good Christmas. I'm going to post another video soon about um, the speed sculpts that I did. I sculpted the health very, very quickly. So stay tuned for that, subscribe, give me a like, give me a share, and uh, become a playtester for the game. I'll include a link for that.